Jason to na Ispania He need to your love to na Ispania He need to your loyalty to win to a royal To kill lose bad or ground to task mama He need to your passion to na Ispania He need to your love to na Ispania He need to your loyalty to win to a royal To kill lose bad or ground to task mama Hello! Another week, another beautiful week as you can see the very, very, very brilliant pearly whites on my face because I am super happy. My name is uh, Nana Owiti, I am your host. My co-host Anaitua Kennedy Nzomo and our sign language interpreter Anaitua George Ochola and you guys are welcome, very, very, very welcome to another fire episode of Tough Talk. Zamo, yeah. it, it was very yeah. tough times. Yeah. You guys, Manchester yeah. experienced really, really <laughs> tough times, Pale Emirates. Yeah. And you guys, I remember when you walked in, Mintanza two story in Manchester versus Arsenal okay. versus Manchester. Mm. And I remember when we were having this banter last week, last week, and Zomo was very sure. And you can't be adding on to watch now, eh? Nakino Lukona Semaji. Rudia Kilo Lukona Sema. Lazima to your Roche. Lazima Lazima. Na muli muliweza. Ah uh, mi sa according to me hiyo boy ya ganacho imetutoa tutoa timing ba si kwa shaji watu meshinda game. Goal si yenu mtajuaje you can never say goal at the game imeisha kama we soul I jamlo you. Ni Manchester versus Arsenal hiyo ni game big. Tunaona tushafunga dakika 85 tusha celebrate ganacho yeah. asha piga celebration ya Ronaldo. But that's where you Alafu unatuambia tena uko offside alafu Arsenal saa kutufunga 90 plus ikakuwa tusha lose game. Si kuna nikuleze. Si attack to attack si wote. Last season ilikuwa the same. Hey, I remember Ketia season... aki aki akiweka the third goal hey, ilikuwa 90 plus. 90 plus. Hey, but... So for us and I think Arsenal that's where we 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 do, we never say die. Mimi nakwambia Arsenal kitu mmoja na juanga ni mpaka ref afinye hivi a blow hiyo whistle. Prrr, ndo tunajuanga game imeisha. Ni vile mko Emirates but Old Trafford Game it up for a different sana. So more, I promise but, you, do you remember the last game also uh, we played with uh, Bournemouth uh, and uh, Rhys Nelson scored the 90 winner. Plus, 90 but, plus. Mm. Like see to Konayo, we are the only team that does that. Number one uh, team. It's true. At a focus on time to go to Nafanya. You only foggy time, you forgot about it. That's why we are talking. And that's why because I have a beef with Manchester fans. Yeah? Manchester fans na kongana issue moja. You guys are always resting on your laurels. <laughs> laurels. Like nyim na kuanga zileza because you can't compete in the present you always bring up, bring the history ah, in the past example, that's what yeah. you do for example kila mtu mlishinda mlishinda but sasa old trafford game it up a different niko sure old trafford <laughs> niko very sure old trafford tutalipisha this is what you said kwanza obng obng alikuwa anasema tuliwanyorosha nyinyo nyenye wanyonyosha fishiga tukawanyorosha two times in one game so many times and people. when it mattered what happened hmm? Mulishinda Old Trafford itakuwa different. Zamu tukubali. Arsenal is the team mzoea. Mulishinda eh mulishinda. But si ile team pia mumezoea. Ah kwa ni Emirates, Emirates obviously ilikuwa ikwa game kwa yetu. But sasa tuko tutakuja mtakuja Old Trafford. Mambo ni matatu. Odegaard, Jesus na rice baby. Rice thank you for the spicy jollof rice. Our tummies are full and so are our eyes, our hearts as well. Where's the juta ngena ni ni Rashford. Rashford pia ametuzoea. Eh, amefunga Arsenal. Unajua akiwa na kina Benoit pale anapanga watoto wake. Mhm. Eh. Just the same mlikuwa na Johnny Evans uliona kile ile alifanyikia. Ali slide hadi saa hii bado ana glide kwa hiyo Emirates. Oya, oya. Jesus please release this man. Alidania ta shoot. So alikuwa anajituma tu. Alijituma ange, ange, slide aliendanga. Jesus ange shoot, ange slide nayo nje but. Onana nayo ange onana nayo mpira. Riz wari riz. Riz wari riz zomo. Vitu zingine unakubali vitu. Eh, hey, sio nimesema yeye mlishinda. Imagine again, aya let's talk about Jadon Sancho. Jadon Sancho. Jadon yeah. Sancho ako na drama na yo, you know. Tenag. Ten coach. Eh. Unaweza muita Eric Sevenhag. But Seven. this is the <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Sancho eh. uh, uh, Erica alisema I'm paying time because kuna ile quality Acha ile quality unafaa kukua kwa squad ndio uweke kwa starting line up ama ukwe sub anasema hakufikia hiyo level alisema this is Lakini Maguire alifikia Eh Maguire eh juu hatuna defense hatuna defense sahi so mna mnaweka kama backup but for us unajua Manchester ni tumesign wengi sahi so I think Eric Tenaga alisema lazima ufikia certain quality ndio yeah. akuchukue but jana Sancho alitoa letter 
aka address akasema eh hiyo si issue but ako ready to fight here for the badge so alisema it's like don't cause i remember how it started don't believe everything you read anything you read but sasa tujui kama ni ukweli ya expectations ama but sasa amekuwa na in disciplines juu kiangalia Borussia pia Ashai kwa shai to akasema amechelewa training Man City pia England Ay, national team akasema kuna sleeping problem eh, sleeping problem alikuwa acheza kuna game inaitwa uh, Call of Duty mm-hmm. inasemekana hiyo ndio alikuwa addicted nayo most of the teams akiwa Borussia yeah. so atujui kama ni Sancho kwa hivyo ama ona muone eh, is, is being truthful eh, eh, ama pia this... anako na juu BVB pia walitoa England national team wakatoa na bado Manchester ndio pia imekuwa mm. eh. I thought Ronaldo was the problem walisema hivyo but acha tuone itakuwaaje <laughs> I'm just being mean <laughs> but but me, I think I think there's a problem in the dressing yeah, room yeah, yeah. red devil and and that yeah. needs to be addressed as soon as possible I always feel as a as a manager you can't out your players like that yeah, now yeah, feel yeah. if there's a problem with the dressing room we, we don't need to know yeah, yeah we don't need to know yeah. because how else are you helping a player yeah. ukianza kumtangaza yeah. na pia yeye una expect a maintain silence yeah. na yeye ana feel kuna vile character yake yeah. ina assassinatiwa yeah. that's that's you know and i think most problems ukiona anga wase wengi wako na shida kwa dressing room you can even tell with how yeah. they play because your performance, performance. is mm. and and that says something mm. anyway what it, it is what it is we bet you and at old trafford we will come and do it again do it again, uh-huh. do it again. right when it matters because mm. preseason is it preseason mzoe hiyo ah twende kpl yeah kuna kwanza kuna harambe stars wanacheza kwanza by then so before twende kpl ulienda kuona trophy eh by then ulienda kuona trophy carnival yeah eh ilikuwa feeling fit sana kuona kikombe atujaona ingetukaa tunapiga 10 years sahihi ban yeah ilikuwa fit no hata kuiona live eh, like huko london but eh, you're here ilikuwa fit sana ilikuwa nili feel fit kuona trophy for the first time yeah mm. guys i think i'm going to share the video of just uh, guy Sedo tu share video ndio hiyo zomo anaangalia hiyo trophy nikaa ataibeba like literally <laughs> alikuwa yeah. he was in oh like yeah. nilikuwa on the yeah, other yeah, side yeah. of the video and he he's just looking at it like mm. iangalilia hapo jua mtaibeba soon tuingie KPL this is on this is on you wish tuende na mistas kwanza na mistas uko na friendly mm-hmm. na Qatar hiyo yeah. itachezewa Doha itachezewa 7 September that's last day mm-hmm. so when you are around doa mtokee msupport team yetu after your game tuko na South Sudan 12 September yeah. tena mm. wacha tuone ma vijana watafanya nini pia wame international break olunga tuone kata tu represent pale obvious pale kwa doa obvious na viwatafunga kata yeah. mani zote kwa sababu eh, kwanza itakuwa ni mechi nzuri kucheza na wachezaji wetu tunacheza nao eh, kila siku na wenye nimesema kuna wachezaji wa timu yetu pale watano itakuwa ni competition poa sana na walishaniambia kutakuwa na urafiki so mimi pia niliwaambia kutakuwa na urafiki na itakuwa ni mechi poa sana na na believe tutakuwa na pia enough support ya Kenya wenye wako Qatar a lot wamekuwa really interested in the game na itakuwa ni opportunity poa pia kutuweza kucheza kwa this kind of environments kwa sababu ukiangalia setup ya Bali Africa tunaenda kucheza away maybe Ivory Coast tunaenda kucheza away Gabon so hizi ni environments zenye ni hostile pia na lazima tuweze ku handle this kind of pressure Qatar pia mchezaji wa World Cup pia yeah. ndio walikuwa wa host so. eh, itakuwa game fit sana tunaona tunaenda levels international levels yeah. so tiko... host Qatar was it no 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 walikuwa walicheza walicheza host ilikuwa ni I think ni Qatar so, tuba ngoja Saudi Arabia Qatar, oh, Qatar. But Qatar ilikuwa. Yeah, Qatar mm. ilikuwa mm. played. Uh-huh. So that's it tunacheza na tunacheza na Qatar Doha. Yeah. Alafu sasa 12 September tutakuwa na South Sudan. Hizo ndio two international friendlies tuko nayo. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. And then when we go to Harambee uh, the Kenya KBL Premier na, League mm. match week 2 mm. tuliona Talanta pale wakinini na Shabana. Shabana wakatoka 1-1 ndio hizi hivi ndio kulienda sasa pale Talanta na Shabana.
Tia... Ma, eh, lakini IKBL mm. decide tu ni madro madro. Mtarokota tu draw guys we want goals. Tunataka kusikia hizo magoal. Last weekend tumeona watu watatu wakibeba wacha watu watatu wakibeba hat trick. So oh, na beba hat trick. Oh, yeah, yeah, EPL, EPL. so na beba hat trick Ferguson, Ferguson Haaland, Haaland. Mm. as in all these games in in like a day. day. Sote. Mm. So tunataka kuona pia uh, Kenya pia. Like yeah. when are we going to celebrate ndo huyu? Hat trick. Hat trick. Mbeba match match match. Mbeba match ball manze yeah. we, we want to see that. Yeah. And of course uh KCB. KCB walicheza na AFC ilicheza wa Kasarani. KCB ilipiga AFC 1-0. So Kenya tunasema about FC ni wameanza season at a very low. Wako chini. Yeah, wako number 15 actually. Eh, wachezi ile game wanafaa kucheza. Ingwe, ingwe, what is happening? Eh, yeah. yeah. wanafaa kama hii game ya KCB pale wangejituma at least si hata kama ni draw pate the first point. Mm. But tunaona walipigwa 1-1 uh, ndio hiyo vida hivi ndio kulienda pale kasa. Ulinzi pale ulinzi complex Langata walicheza na defending champions wenye ni Gor Gor alishinda 1-0 walipiga ulinzi kwa home surely security eh, mazi, akukua security akukua security pale Langata na mnachezea kwa barracks <laughs> haya hivi ndio kulienda pale Langata Gor akashinda 1-0 ile kitu ile ni bamba zaidi mm. ni social media manager <laughs> wa Gor <laughs> anakuanga kazi you should see uh, the picture ndio hiyo picture alishia kwa social media mm. akisema vile atapiga makarao but ya yeah, truly uh, waliwapiga <laughs> like but i'm happy for the competition though mm. to to songe tena sana zaidi and then of course guys uh, as we always do this is a new segment that we created last week this is like the second episode it's time for tough fact now on this episode of tough fact we are going to feature one very 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 talented footballer her name is Nady Atieno very talented na kumbuka kicheza na South Sudan was it South Sudan wakawapiga and, and uh, she had a hat trick so guys if you don't know who I am talking about she plays for Ulinzi Starlets and has she has an amazing portfolio here's what to know about Nadia Tieno Nadia Tieno Okoth is a Kenyan footballer born on the 8th of July 1992 Nedi sharpened a trade as a forward for Ulinzi Starlets and the Kenyan women's national team popularly known as the Harambee Starlets truly a starlet at heart Having steered Ulinzi Starlets to clinching the inaugural Football Kenya Federation Women's Cup and Super Cup, Akoth decided to call it ups and hung her boots after a good stint in the Kenyan football soil. Nedi joined Ulinzi Starlets from Makolandas in 2017 and helped the team storm the Women Premier League in 2020. She had just made a return to the national women's team Arambi Starlets, helping them dispense South Sudan 15 to 1 in the first round of the Africa Women's Cup of Nations qualifiers. Another memorable piece in her accolade bag included the 2021-2022 season where she was making her debut in the top tier league. Atieno guided the team to a third place finish in zone A and were eliminated in the playoff quarters. They went on to beat three-time league champions Vihiga Queens in the inaugural Women's Cup which opened the chance to feature in that year's Super Cup. On November 11th, 2021, Nedi was appointed by the then Sports Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed to be a part of a 15-member caretaker committee to run the Football Kenya Federation chaired by retired judge Aaron Ringera, which was later on dissolved after the FKF board was reinstated. Earlier on this year, Nedi was part of a fully KEFWA funded UEFA transition program that was held in Lusaka, Zambia. The program aims at enlightening footballers who want to retire about a second career and job opportunities that are there in football and outside of the field. As of now, Nedi is fully focused on fitness and nutrition at Allison Institution where she's due to graduate this December and also is a player at Ulinzi Starlets. Wow, what a player! 
Yeah, I'm so happy because I know Nibe State hey, so Nibe State yeah, yeah, yeah. Manze, number 45 Manze number 45 Kongo Kongo Pale KDF Odem she is always a threat to any finisher any center mwana. back mm. opposing center back Odem mm. Achezangi and me kuna goal sita sita kumbuk sita sahau yeah. when they won the women's F- cup FKF the FKF cup, yeah, yeah, the women's cup. cup. wakashinda 3 nil wakashinda 3 nil mm. and walipiga a very good team, team. you know yeah, so yeah, yeah. To watch that, and I hope there's a little video of that. Na kona celebration kali dia. Oli ona kwa celebration ni kwa tu. Eh, kona celebration no masa. Ah, Nedi, we love you, man. We love you. So we're gonna go to the next segment of the show, and we are talking about what has been happening on the last day, deadline day, a transfer. A lot happened. Me na kumbuka I had formal just to see Fabrizio. Bro, nataka kwa na Fabrizio na semani ni. But what shocked me the most was. And so Fati is moved. Yeah, it's mm. a, it's on loan. Mm. Uh, Brighton to Brighton from Barcelona. Mm. A very talented um, yeah. player. Mm. Na feel like in the first season alikuwa mnoma kidogo kidogo and then to injury ndio ikafanya. Injury ndio imefanya atoke pale alafu tunaona pale Yamal pia Barcelona. Eh hey, Yamal. Hey, Yama. Ako sawa. He's so, 16. Eh hey, 16 anacheza first team ya Barcelona. So Hansu anataka more playing time. Yeah. So But they can't give him that. Eh hey, right because so. Yamal Yamal ni pure talent yeah. kuliko Hansu. Yeah. Ansu ataka alipewa jezi namba 10. So tunaona pale Brighton wamechukua Ansu na it's a very good signing. Unaona venye walifanya Newcastle weekend. Yeah. Ferguson alipiga hat-trick. So Ansu ratosha kwele team vizuri, vizuri. sana. Mm. Uh, and then Greenwood. We we talked about Mason Greenwood Greenwood from mm. uh, Manchester United. United. Mm. And what I thought they were actually going to release him, mm. but they contrary to that thought, they didn't release him. He's gone on, uh, on a loan uh, a stint at Getafe. Getafe. Uh, La Liga. Spain, La Liga. Yeah, yeah, La Liga side Getafe. Mm. Manzia was say like this ni waraf. Getafe yeah, mm. Getafe you mnyi mm. menipe trauma. So to him to see him go there and mm. then he's going to be go back at Man- Manchester, Manchester mm. in 2024. Mm. I don't know what the future holds for for the young man Actually, I thought Manchester had already terminated. Me too. His contract yeah. but no na ameenda on loan. Yeah. So sijui but angefaa kuenda any English club. Mm-hmm. Ni pure talent, ameenda Getafe. Spain pale ni timu zote. Kwani ndio wajui history yake ya kupiga demo. Wanajua but sasa your affect wao hiyo ni different country different rules. Oh really? Eh hata kama alifanya hivyo. I didn't understand that bit. But, but I think England walimban wali washamban. So is the England pia national team I think. Mm-hmm. So ili bidi ende Getafe Getafe ni timu ndogo. Yeye ndo atakuwa talisman. Yeah. Green ndo atashine. Atashine pale. But he's a he's a very talented winger. Mm-hmm. Na you cheza na number 11. Number 11. And Greenwood is really good. I don't know na feel too easy in discipline and also the violence because by the way we cannot tuwezi kubali. We cannot condone uh, gender based violence. Yeah. So if you're doing that then clearly you have to be served as an example and that's that's the saddest bit. You just want to me to do like a career suicide when you're doing all these things because tumeona ya mendi tumeona ya huyu and also speaking of uh, gender based violence even Anthony from Manchester United is being also investigated. like investigated yeah. for domestic violence mm. against uh, his, his former uh, girlfriend mm. is it wife or girlfriend girlfriend, girlfriend mm. Gabriela mm. so mm. i don't know what is happening at Manchester naona mwezi piga Arsenal mnaona mpige wanawake yeye si juu sita yenu ni nini but anyway guys Uh, of course you guys know this weekend at Tuna games because kuna international friend mm. uh, friendlies that are happening that's why we have Arambi stars coming over kila mtu anaenda kwa country yake i've seen almost uh, England wa meishaita watu wa Spain kila team imeita kila mtu so there will be a game actually on this weekend Saturday and Sunday mm. the easy friendly zote so mm. if you support whoever from your you know team mm. sawa mm. mwenyako country flani Flani eh. manze go watch them watch sawa pia game mm. ya Kenya na Arabi Stars na Qatar itakuwa on that day on Doha. Yes, eh. at uh, yeah, in Doha. Mm. I I wish ingekuwa huku because eh. na, mimi ningekuwa pari because I got to see Olunga score a hat trick man. But of course guys, that's all we had for you for today and see you on the next one after the international break. We love you guys and please subscribe because you guys keep us here. Tunawapenda sana. Any you guys you don't know. Every time I see your comments down below mkisema manze show in Abamba, manze you can you know twitch this to do this i we appreciate such kind of constructive uh, criticism so we are here for all of that so share with us any comments below tunawapenda sana and see you on the next one bye